In several European countries, it is still legal for private individuals to own wild animals like big cats, despite lacking the expertise to care for them. Big cats in private homes suffer and pose serious risks to their owners and the public, leading to tragic outcomes for the animals. My name is Ariana Colina. I am a project manager with the Rescue and Advocacy Unit of Four Paws International. Early last year, the Slovakian authorities actually got into contact with Four Paws because they learned that some tiger cubs had been illegally bred in, in Slovakia in a private facility. As of 2022, it's actually illegal for Slovakian private keepers to obtain new big cats, whether it's through importation, purchasing, or through breeding. When we learned about the situation, Four Paws decided to carry out a veterinary mission on the other legally kept big cats in the facility. While we were there, we actually managed to neuter some of the animals, which hopefully means that there won't be any more illegal breathing in this private facility. The last two days I have been accompanying four paws in Slovakia. We conducted several uh, health examinations and reproductive management related interventions in some of the big cats kept in this facility. We examined two male leopards and we vasectomized these two individuals. We also did one uh, male adult tiger and he was also vasectomized. In addition, we examined his conspecific the female tiger and we just assessed if the animal uh, is uh, pregnant or not and what is her reproductive status currently. We are assessing the situation at the moment to see if we might be taking the cubs uh, to one of our sanctuaries in South Africa called Lion's Rock. Unfortunately, we did find some chronic illnesses in the animals. This is something that we very often see with privately kept big cats just because they may not be getting the care that they require and care that is species appropriate. In addition to that, um, one of the legally kept big cats was actually white. This was the father of uh, Snow and Sky, and in fact Snow herself is white. When it comes to white tigers and including white lions, um, they are actually naturally found in the wild, but they are very rare. The amount of white tigers and lions that we see in captivity is really the result of unethical breeding practices, uh, usually involving um, inbreeding between relatives um, of the same family. And this does lead to negative welfare consequences and also considerable health concerns with regard to, to the animals. It is Four Paws' opinion that big cats should not be kept in private keeping or as pets. Big cats are very complex animals. They have a lot of specialized requirements and we we truly believe that only genuine zoological societies, um, zoological facilities and true sanctuaries should keep um, big cats. One of these true sanctuaries would be our own Lion's Rock in South Africa. As soon as we finished with the veterinary mission, uh, the Slovakian authorities actually went in and confiscated the tiger cubs and they took them to Zoo Bojnice, which is a zoo located in Slovakia. Um, where we were um, able to keep them temporarily until we could get all of the paperwork done to take them to South Africa. So tomorrow we are going to start uh, quite early to anesthetize both of them. So we'd like to take blood samples, do a general health checkup. We are going to do an abdominal uh, ultrasound and an eye exam and check the whole body basically and see if if we find anything. We started with uh, Snow, the white tiger. She was actually perfectly fine. So her kidneys are perfect. Uh, um, everything else, the heart, the lungs, everything is nice. The teeth are wonderful. The sky was uh, pretty straightforward. We were able to check the whole animal and uh, everything is perfectly fine with her. We're gonna put them in transport boxes and leave to the airport. Lions Rock Big Cat Sanctuary is located in South Africa. It's actually home to over a hundred big cats that Four Paws has rescued from various different places, including circuses, private keeping and commercial trade. We believe that Lions Rock is the best place for Snow and Sky because it's one of our sanctuaries where they will be able to get really species appropriate care. They will be able to enjoy a really nice enclosure and they will be able to take advantage of the experts that we have on site. Okay, so we are here at the airport in Johannesburg at the cargo area. We're waiting for them to be offloaded from the cargo, from the aeroplane, brought into the cargo area. 
and then we will have a look at them and load them and go to Lions Rock where they will be released. We are very happy how they behaved during the rest of the transport and also with the release. So we are happy obviously for them because they still have their whole life in front of them and can now spend it in a species appropriate natural environment and not in a concrete cage. Even though snow and sky now have a happy ending and will be able to live out the rest of their life in Lion's Rock, unfortunately we know that globally and also at a European Union level there are a huge number of big cats that are still suffering in private keeping. The mission of Four Paws, especially when it comes to our rootless trade campaign, is to try and let the governments know that these situations are happening. We are trying to improve the legislation. We are trying to improve the enforcement um, that comes in with this legislation to try and protect these big cats and remove them from the awful situation that they're in. The way that our supporters can help us is by donating, because it is through your donations that we can really carry out all of the projects that we do, all of the campaigns that we do. And recently we launched our Big Cat reporting tool where actually people can report any Big Cat activity that they see online to us and we will be able to investigate the situation a bit more closely and see if we can do anything about it. Make sure to subscribe to Four Paws to stay up to date with Snow and Sky's new life at Lions Rock.